Hi, this is Sarah McLeod, your host for Proven Cures, and thank you so much for tuning in to part two of what happened to HIV after six months of black seed oil and honey. I'm sorry I didn't realize my phone didn't have uh, enough storage space to um, hold the entire video. So I left off uh, with the last video stating that the case study was actually given the black seed and honey concoction um, for six months and the exact dosage uh, was equivalent to one teaspoon of black seed powder mixed with half a teaspoon of honey twice per day for six months and at the end of the six months the person actually had a normal CD for count and um, an undetectable viral load and was actually testing HIV negative up to two years because he was followed for two years. Um, what I, I did not get to, however, was to actually tell you the name of the study and who the uh, contributors are and where it was published because I want you to be able to uh, go and verify everything I've shared here for yourself and you can see that everything I've said is true. The title of the study is Nigella Sativa. That's N-I-G-E-L-L-A. Sativa, S-A-T-I-V-A. That is the scientific name of black seed oil, also known as um, cumin seed. Okay, Nigella sativa concoction induced sustained zero reversion in HIV patient. And remember, I explained zero as uh, referring to the blood S-E-R-O reversion as turning something backwards so the person was testing HIV negative after uh, taking the concoction that I explained of the black seed oil mixed with the honey the black seed powder mixed with the honey and uh, it's this title uh, refers to the serial reversion as being sustained meaning the subject had repeated uh, HIV negative tests after having um, taken the concoction for six months. Okay, the um, physicians and contributors of this information are Dr. Abdul Fattah Adekunle Onifade, um, Andrew Paul Jewell, and Wahid Adiola Adadeji. The study was conducted in Nigeria and pu it is published in the African Journal of Traditional Complementary and Alternative Medicines, also uh, known by the acronym AJTCAM. Okay, and what I would like to share with you, uh, because there it's a case study, there for this specific study only one person was um, given the treatment and followed through with the uh, subsequent blood tests. I read that another study was done following this one to confirm the results in six people. However, I was not able to find a, a, a print out a manuscript of that study, not even a true abstract that I could share the results with you. I will continue to look because I like, you know, more expanded information to share. So, but since I don't have that, what I do have before me are is a calendar of the blood test results, and those are so important um, to really show the the uh, physiological effects of the black seed powder and honey on this person who had not had prior antiretroviral therapy. Okay, so. Pre-treatment, as I uh, previously stated, the person had a CD4 count of 250 cells per tablespoon of blood. And I should also note that once a person has a CD4 count of 200, they are considered to have AIDS. So this person was very, very close to being, being considered to be an AIDS patient, not just being HIV positive. Also, um, his viral load was through the roof at 27,000 copies per milliliter and of course his HIV tests were positive. After one month of treatment his CD4 count had dropped to 160 but his viral load had, his viral load had also decreased to less than a thousand 
um, and he was still uh, positive on his HIV test. Second month, the second month of treatment, his CD4 count raised up a little bit to 190, but his viral load dropped again now to what is considered undetectable um, at less than 50 copies per milliliter, and he was still positive on his HIV test. He was tested again at the third month. His CD4 count raised a little bit more to 270, um, but his viral load was still less than 50 um, copies per milliliter. And it stayed that way through the rest of the study all the way up to two years of testing. But he, at the third month, he was still testing positive on HIV tests. The fourth month now... His CD4 count is getting close to normal. It's at 420 cells per uh, tablespoon of blood. And the normal CD4 count starts at 500 um, cells. And like I said before, his viral load was undetectable. And at the fourth month, he was still positive on his HIV test. Now we're into the fifth month. His CD4 count is now normal at 540. Viral load undetectable. And his... Um, ELISA and Western blots were coming up weekly positive, as in W-E-A-K, week, weekly positive. Tested again at six months, his CD4 count raised again up to 650. Um, viral load undetectable, less than 50, and he was testing HIV negative. He was tested again at eight months, CD4 count was 830, undetectable viral load, negative on HIV tests. Tested at the 12th month, CD4 count went up to 840, viral load still undetectable and negative on HIV tests. Tested at the 18th month, CD4 count was at 820, still in the normal range. The normal range is 500 to 2000 cells per tablespoon of blood. Uh, undetectable viral load and negative on HIV tests. Tested again at the 24th month, okay, so now that's the exact two year mark. Um, his CD4 count was 880, undetectable viral load, negative HIV test. Tested at the 30th month, CD4 count was 790, undetectable viral load, negative on HIV test. Tested at the 36th month, mind you, he'd stopped taking um, the, the uh, I hate to say meds, right? But he stopped taking the, the black seed and honey concoction at six months. So now we're at the 36th the 36th month, he's not taking anything at all. His CD4 count is 850, undetectable viral load negative on test. 44th month, CD4 count is at 870, undetectable viral load negative HIV test. Tested again at the 47th month, um, CD4 count was 880, viral load was undetectable and negative on HIV test. So that's, that's uh, pretty positive. Um, I wanted also, before I, I end this uh, video series, I wanted to look up the, some side effects of black seed oil, you know, just so, just in case, you know, you're, you're thinking of taking it. I also um, live by it myself because I have arthritis in my fingers, probably from years and years of typing on computers. And I hope you can see that properly. This is what it looks like in capsule form black cumin seed and I find that when I take this it's a great anti-inflammatory and I it I don't have the pain in my fingers like before I don't have to take pain pills so this I is that's what's good for for me um and I haven't had any negative side effects from it but but I still wanted to look up you know just in case you you're thinking about taking it but you want to you know just see how how it might affect your body in other ways um black seed has been found to slow clotting so it can it can increase the risk of bleeding. So I would say if you're taking something like Coumadin or some kind of blood thinner, you will if, and you want to try this, you'll definitely want to go to a doctor and get your blood tested before you jump into this. Maybe it's something that you wouldn't be able to take. I have no idea. That's something you would have to take up with a doctor. Um, black seed has also been found to lower blood sugars in people. So if you're a diabetic, maybe you are already taking um anti uh, hyperglycemic medication that is something you want to take into account it is also found to lower blood pressure so once again if you are on anti-hypertensive medications this might not be something that you just want to dive right into 
Um, and it has been found to increase sleepiness in some people. So maybe you, if you're going to take it, you want to see how your body responds. Maybe you get drowsy and you might not want to drive, you know, immediately after taking it or something like that. So those are the only um, side effects that I found. And that concludes the study that tells you all of, you know, all of the results of it and where to find it so you can verify everything I've shared. And please, I hope you found this information to be helpful. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. I am always looking for uh, new information. This study was just published five years ago in 2013, so a lot of people don't know anything about this. Um, yeah, so like, share, subscribe, and if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you will get notifications of my new videos. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.